This Sports Blitz podcast is brought to you by LMG. Grow your business through logo design, paper products, and video production. Visit leemarketing.net to learn more. Welcome back to Sports Blitz Live. This will literally be the Bradbury Medical Center Alabama Blitz. Thanks so much for being back with us. Biggest news of the day came from the basketball side of things is Trevor Lacey, the much ballyhooed player from Butler High School, has decided to transfer. He let his uh, intentions be known to the coaching staff today. He had a meeting this afternoon with Coach Grant. Uh, according to him, he had not made up his mind whether he was going to transfer or not. He wanted to see about the future, where the program's headed, about his player development. And after that meeting, apparently it didn't go well. He has decided to transfer most likely to a Big Ten or an ACC school. He will not be released to an SEC school. He will have to sit out next year and then have two years left to play. This is a huge loss for Alabama as far as I'm concerned. When you couple it with the fact that Musa Gay has also decided to leave the program a month or so ago, that's two starters from this team that you know, you, it was a mixed bag, I guess you could say, at best. And uh, it's a shame, I think, that this is another nail in the Anthony Grant coffin. I do not see his lasting much past le- next year if he is able to last at all past next year. So anyway, La- Trevor Lacey will be transferring. And again, this is a huge blow to the Alabama basketball program. Uh, going back, talking about a couple other things, Alabama was able to sneak one win out of the series with LSU. The second-ranked Bengal Tigers come into town. Uh, They beat Alabama pretty good on Friday night. Alabama takes them to many, many, many extra innings on Saturday. Can't get the deal closed as LSU wins on Saturday, but Alabama is able to win in extra innings again on Sunday. Uh, Most projections have Alabama making the field in the NCAA tournament for baseball, but there's a lot of baseball to be played, and Alabama has not traveled to Vanderbilt yet, so we'll see how things go from there. And, of course, keep your eye on the NFL draft coming up on Thursday. As many as four or five Alabama players could be going in the first round. That's an incredible number. Absolutely phenomenal what Nick Saban is doing with the football program. That's going to do it for the Bradbury Medical Center Alabama Minute. We'll be back in just a minute with more Sports Plus Live. 